Good morning. It's Deb Watson again. A reference photo is from Pixabay. My paper is a new kind called Hippie Crafter. We'll give it a good workout with this lesson and see how it holds up. Before I start painting, I'm going to spatter this with masking fluid to save those tiny stars. I'm using an old toothbrush to spatter and PBO drawing gum. I hold the toothbrush like this and pull my thumb across just the top edge of the bristles. This gives me tiny flecks like the stars. If you're doing masking and you get a big drip onto your paper, don't try to wipe it off. Just let it dry. It should be easy to peel off any stray bits of masking once it's dry. I'm using dioxazine purple, cobalt blue, and pyrrole orange. You can check the information for more about the colors. Tips for a smooth dark wash. Mix a thick wash of color, more than you think you'll need, and be sure there are no lumps left in it. A good rule of thumb is to mix up twice as much as you think you're going to need. If you mix it in a small container, you don't have to throw it away, and you'll have it in case you need this color again to touch up the painting. I'm also going to mix a light wash of orange, then wet your paper and dab off any excess water. You want the paper evenly damp. Because I put tape around the edges, this card can't stretch and will buckle up. I just wanted to see how the Hippie Crafter paper handled the tape, so I'll just have to put up with it. Start at the top and paint smoothly across to about one third the way down. Then you can dip your brush in the water and thin and lighten the wash for the next two strokes. My paper is a little drier than I like, but rarely is painting perfect. You just keep going. I wash out my brush and wet the paper a little more. With that flood of water, I have to tilt the board to keep the color up in the sky where I want it. As the top is drying too fast, I give it a couple sprays with the misting bottle, but not too much. And I keep tilting the board back and forth until I've got it back to being evenly wet. I have to wipe up the excess paint that's running around the edges. And I also wipe up the paint at the bottom, where I want it to be orange. Using a small brush so I don't flood it again, I paint on some light orange right below the purple, and then I very carefully blend the two colors together just a little bit. Then I finish giving the bottom a coat of orange. If you're new at dark washes, you can just do the purple wash first. Check the written instructions for more tips. Then dry it well. Evaluating this dried wash, it needs more color in the sky. It's a good thing I mixed up a lot of purple. I bring the purple down from the top and the orange up from the bottom. Now it looks much better. Now to make the dark brown for the bottom silhouette, I mix some of the purple, it's even thicker now because it's drying, with some of the orange. I paint the dark foreground across about the bottom fourth of the paper. And then I add some trees coming up on the right side.
Then I dry the whole thing very well again. Okay, this is a stencil I made in another lesson out of some scrap watercolor paper. It's a little big, but I think it'll work. I don't want to tape it down because I don't know if this paper will work well with tape. So I'm just going to hold it firmly in place. I'm using a damp piece of Mr. Clean's Magic Eraser to gently wipe the color off the paper. I wipe and turn the eraser so that I'm not rubbing the lifted color back into the paper. Be very gentle so you don't damage the paper. This purple stains, but most of the color comes up and that's perfect. Once I dried it yet again, I painted the dark of the moon with some blue. And I just can't wait to see how the masking did. I'm using a masking pickup to gently wipe off the masking. You can also use your fingers. Yay! The Hippie Crafter paper worked quite well with the masking. Last, I'm taking some opaque white to brighten the quarter moon. Then I give the dark of the moon one more coat of paint. Now it's time to see how the paper does with tape. And the tape is lifting off some of the surface of the paper. So my evaluation of this new paper, it's great for painting, but it's a little soft to use with masking tape. Please visit my site for more free lessons because you can paint this. Thank you.